Alan, no false modesty permitted. Is there anyone in the world who knows more about jaguars than you do? No. <laughs> no, probably not. And it's a, it's it's a it's a matter of time. I've been I've been studying them. I've been following them since the early 1970s. Tom, we know how Alan got fascinated with animals, cats in particular. What about you? I think Alan and I were separated at birth. Um, there's no question, when I was a, a young boy, it was my aim in life to become a felid, big cat zoologist. And only when I was a teenager did I realize that I probably had a better um, relative advantage as a historian than I would have had as a scientist. And so I went off into uh, history and ultimately used that in business. Now, hang on, you went to Oxford as I understand. Yes. And you got a PhD. Yes. And what did you get your PhD in? It was uh, effectively in counterinsurgency. Counterinsurgency where? Malaya. So you went from Malayan counterinsurgency to Jaguars. Well, there were a few interim steps <laughs> along the way. Uh, I went into business. I'd like to think that it's my stock in trade to always seek out the very best people. And that was what prompted me to search out Alan and to see whether my passion might be able to complement the work that he was doing on the ground. You call Someone. this the Manhattan Project for Cats. It's a great phrase. That's what okay. Panthera is all about. Panthera is all about harnessing the best minds, the best science, and the most capital into species-wide conservation. How are you doing? In some areas, I think we're doing extremely well. For jaguars, for example, we're playing offense, which um, lends itself to my character and Alan. What I find interesting is that you devote so much capital and passion, and your passion has always been for these animals, which you hardly ever see. How do you explain that? It's a double-edged sword. We hardly ever see them because they're so rare. I won't regard us as having been successful until we can say with certainty that any of the species that we're working on should be able to survive for an eternity. And we won't be able to say that until there are more people like Alan, which we've been working on, um, and also in t until there are more people like me. Um, what do you mean by that, more people like me? It's incumbent upon the founder of any enterprise to first and foremost uh, bury their ego and plan for their own succession. Hence, using a platform such as 60 Minutes to be able to say, if you want to join us, you can have my email address, get in touch with me, get in touch with Alan, let us know your interest. If you want to save a species, let us know and we will find matching funds for you. That's our challenge. You'll accept emails. You bet. 